Good morning. I, I, you know, I keep saying good morning because that's, you know. But I'm going to tell you good morning anyways. Maybe because you know why? Because we're waking up to Jesus in these videos. That's what's happening. Amen, Brandon? Amen. We're waking up to Jesus. Shaba, kaba, saraba, laba, reba, kataraba. Shekaba, sambe, kete. Shakaba. Watch out there now. Matthew 21. I feel the Holy Ghost. I don't know what you woke up for, but this is what I woke up for. I feel the Holy Ghost on the inside of me right now, bubbling. Shekaba. Say the name Jesus right now. Shekaba. Woo. That's good stuff right there. Verse 13. This is Jesus. You know the words of Jesus are true. They I just tell you what, Brandon, I feel the Holy Ghost. Shakeba. I don't know who's drawing this right now, but I hope you get some of this. Verse 13. Jesus said to him, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you're making it a robber's den. In all things, in verse 22, Shekaba. I'm getting, I'm getting so. Oh, what about the Holy Ghost? I'm messing up my own devotion here. Receive it, people, so I can focus. Verse 13, it is written, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a robber's den. Then in verse 22, he says it again. And all things you ask in prayer, believing, you will receive. Now, Jesus is setting you up to receive answer to your prayer. He literally said, look, in my house, people pray. People talk to God. And if they do it in faith, they get what they pray for. This is what Jesus is saying right here. He said, look, it's written in the old covenant. I'm bringing it up because y'all maybe didn't think it was real. Maybe, maybe, maybe you didn't have faith in that. And Jesus is like, I have faith in it because I am the word. That's why it's written. So what Jesus is telling us today, he wants us to be a people of prayer. His house, literally, the dwelling place of Jesus, his house is a place of communicating with God. It's a place of connection with God in a way that God answers prayers. Do you know that about Jesus? Do you know that it's his desire that we would talk to him in a way that he answers prayer? Like for his glory. He, I mean, like he wants to answer prayer in your life. He wants to be glorified in that. So today, come on, make your request known to God. And let's watch him break through in our lives. Amen. God bless you. I will see you tomorrow.